In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the XC110 Prepreg Carbon Fibre Evaluation Kit. This kit is intended for people who want to experiment with or get some hands-on experience with prepreg materials, but don't necessarily have access to an industrial oven with dedicated vacuum ports. This video is not intended as a tutorial. We're just going to be looking through all of the materials that you get included in the kit. But if you were looking for a tutorial, head over to the learning area of the Easy Composites website where we've got a video making this vent using this exact kit. Really, the crux of this kit is this. This is the oven seal breach line. And this is what allows you to pass your vacuum past the door seal of nearly all ovens, whether that's an industrial oven that maybe isn't equipped with vacuum ports or just a simple domestic one. So let's now look at the prepreg materials themselves. Included in the kit, we have two pieces of XC110 210 gram and two pieces of XC110 416 gram. The XC110 system is a dedicated out of autoclave prepreg, which means it's designed to be cured under vacuum only in an oven. And it really is this prepreg in particular that has such a low void content when processed in this way. The 210 gram is typically used for your surface plies and the 416 gram is typically used as a backing ply. When combined, this will make a laminate thickness of around about 0.7 millimeters, which is perfect for non-structural components like this. You have two pieces of each and each piece is 400 millimeters by 300 millimeters. That's about the size of a piece of A3 paper, meaning that you could make approximately four components of this size. Moving on now to the vacuum bag and consumables, we've got our release films here. So we have the R120 perforated release film. This is the one that you would use during the debulks. And we have the R210 unperforated release film, and that's used on the back of the laminate for the final cure. Both of these are half a meter by one and a half meters, which is going to be more than enough to process all of this material. Then we have the VB160 vacuum bagging film. This has become an industry standard film. You'll see us using it in lots of different projects. When this is rolled out, you've got one meter by one and a half meters, but actually this is in lay flat tube format. So if you were to cut down one side and unfold it again, you've actually got a piece which is one meter by three meters in length. Then we have the BR180 breather. This is a lightweight breather cloth, absolutely perfect for doing small components like this. It's used on top of the perforated release film for debulking, and then it's used typically underneath the mold when you come to do the final cure. To seal the vacuum bags, you've got the ST150 sealant tape. You've got five meters here, again, enough to process all of this material. Then to connect your vacuum, you have a three bag connector, which has been pre-assembled with a quarter turn valve and an eight millimeter hosetail barb. That eight millimeter hosetail barb will work with the silicon hose. And the quarter turn valve is a really useful addition, particularly when you're doing small bagging projects, as it allows you to open the vacuum and close it to reposition, then open to draw down a little bit more before closing and repositioning. Then we have the silicon hose, and this is then connected to your through bag connector, run towards the edge of your oven, and then once you get to the seal, you'll cut the hose and install the oven seal breech line. This small bore hose will easily fit past most seals, and then you would then recontinue on with silicon hose over to your vacuum pump. Now, if you already have a vacuum pump from doing resin infusion or vacuum bagging, they will work perfectly well. As long as they can achieve at least 99.8% vacuum, you should be good to go. If you don't have a vacuum pump, you might want to consider the EC4. This is a professional grade pump, but with that, you are going to get years of trouble-free service. And you'll find information on it in the vacuum equipment section on the website. Along with some nitrile gloves, that covers everything that you get in the kit. Of course, all of these materials are available in bulk quantities should you need any more in the future. Hope that answers any questions that you might have, but if you are left with any about either the materials or the process, don't hesitate to get in touch with our technical team who would be more than happy to help.